Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? Kevin here coming at you with another video. This is an update on my Toro. Um, wheel horse, right there. Workhorse by wheel horse. GT1100, I was just um, looking at it and I'm like, all right. So I have some things I had to do. I tested the switches. The one for the, P the uh, you know, brake. And the one for the PTO. The PTO had no reading no matter what position it was in. That one only had a reading. Um, it was actually reversed the way it was supposed to be. Come to find out the terminal had broken off and, and jammed itself in there. So, okay. Those two are junk. And the one for the seat's bad. Ah, good. I tested the one for the seat. It works perfectly. So, what I did was I went from the top terminal, which is the start terminal. I just piggybacked it for now to the solenoid switch so I could turn it over with the key. Uh, let me show you guys where I'm at. I put the, um, the original clutch back on it. I need to replace it. I know I do, it's all pitted, but it'll work for right at the moment. Uh, for what I did, and I replaced the pen, I put a new pen. Right there. Um, I put a key in the keyway. Let's see where the key goes, right there. See, see better. Right there, put a new key in it, took the nail out. And did the same thing, took the nail off this side, and put a bolt through it, and replaced the bolt that was over there. For the chain, the chain drive, I'm running a 420 um, chain off of a Kawasaki KE100 and got rid of that 40 um, chain, 4041 chain. So that's where I'm at with that. Um, what do you call it there? And basically, I, so I bypassed the switches and piggybacked it so I could turn it over and start it with the key and um, go from there, you know. So I got. Um, hardly any fuel left in it, but see if it'll, let's see if it'll go. There you have it guys snow blows up and going boy that thing looks mean though doesn't it that's intimidating god so they show um youtube videos on this thing i was watching some of someone else's youtube videos and this thing was throwing snow i mean just even it 20 30 feet i was like oh my god that's gonna be sweet so i can't wait to try it out and then i got uh this is the other one i had out back this is a burko mac this is also a toro Toro wheel horse, just a, a newer one. Um, not as strong nearly as that one, but nevertheless, this one's got the hydrostatic transmission, it's not standard. Um, what do you call it there? It doesn't have all the bells and whistles that that one does, but other than the hydrostatic, and this one's a Burkle Mac. Needs a little bit of work, but um, I got the wheel weights out back for it. So I'm waiting for the bolts to come in for that. Once the bolts come in, I can put my wheel weights on this one. <clears throat> and then the only thing I have left to do to this one is fix the um, cable for the chute. And that's it for that. That thing's ready for the winter. And built the tire on that. This one right here needs a belt and a knob up top. I got a few people interested in it. So I have, like I said, I have it posted on Craigslist. It's a minute mount. Just put this camp down underneath there. But other than that, that's pretty much it for this one. I've been using it as a yard mule. Needs a little bit of work, like I said. But I'd rather have this oldie. Oldie but goodie. So. But I just wanted to give you guys an update. Show you guys where I was at. Um, clutch cleaned up. And um, so that worked out pretty well. I can't wait to uh, try it out. And I'll be doing YouTube videos on it. Um, trying it out. See how far we can throw it. With this 11 horse. So. Well, that's it for me, guys. Thank you for watching. 170 subscribers. Guys, you guys. Are, oh, I love you guys. Thank you. So, if there's anything else I can help you guys out with um, on the wheel horse, you know, this one particularly, um, let me know. And I can uh, maybe do a video on it, see what we can do. Alright. Well, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe.